Surround yourself with people that force you to do better. Life, strength, and health. Morning motivation. Episode 103. Finding accountability. Great rising, everyone. Jamal here. And Kim. Yes. And we are continuing our week of talking about accountability partners. We're taking time to talk about this because it is a very powerful thing that you can do to be successful at anything that you have goals for, from health to business to any aspect of your life. Having someone to depend on and someone depending on you, it can be a game changer. And today we would like to talk about the process of actually finding the right accountability partner Mm -hmm. because it just can't be a friend right just someone that you're cool with it can't be uh some someone that's convenient right it has to be much deeper than that yes ideally you would want a friend as an, an accountability partner but the most important thing to consider is is this person going to help you? Are they going to push you? Are they going to keep you accountable to reaching your goals? And sometimes it comes through someone that you may not really get along with. Um, If this person has a skill set or they're moving in the same direction as you and want to achieve a similar goal and they're they're motivated, they're dedicated, and they, they truly want to reach this goal, that is someone that you want to be in alignment with as opposed to someone you just consider a friend. So finding an accountability partner, it's important to align yourself with someone who's heading in the right direction or someone who wants to see you get to that direction. We are accountability partners for our clients um, because we want to help them to reach their goals. So as long as that person is in alignment with what you want to achieve, then that's someone you should consider. Right. You want to, you want to put some thought into this because if you really select the right person, you're going to catapult each other. Like for example, I wanted to start playing racquetball and I knew that Kim, she loves racket sports like she's an avid tennis player so knowing that it's something that she would really get into I knew that she would be a good partner to team up with because even on days where I'm not thinking about it you know she wants to play she wants to put it on on the schedule and she's just as excited about really getting into the sport as as I am and she wants to grow as much as I am so we push each other and we play a lot more than I probably would if I teamed up with someone else that wasn't necessarily interested in it but I asked them so they just kind of said okay you know so we really push each other and then the fact that she plays racket sport she's coming in uh you know not necessarily advanced but highly skilled right so it's going to to push me from the beginning to have to be better right so uh you know choosing her uh for that particular sport it was it was powerful and it it allowed me to be able to grow a lot faster than I would have um had I done it by myself or or had a different partner so you just want to put some thought into selecting who you work with Surround yourself with people that force you to do better. Like that's the key. All right. And we'll leave you with that for today. And for more motivation episodes and our extended podcast, please visit our website at lifestrengthandhealth.com. Yes. Peace and blessings.